In today's video, I am going to give you a simple tip on how to create a responsive card uh, in new Figma auto layout. So I am going to share with you some of the key points that you have to understand uh, to create a responsive card. So you can see here I have the card and if I try to uh, make it size bigger or smaller, it grows on both sides. So you can see my image height is fixed. So it is not increasing in height and everything else you can see over here it grows so if I try to um, add some text here and it will um, grow taller okay so you can see this is a very simple trick so what I have did is this is my actual frame which is a card and um, then we have a text inside it, a uh, few more things like image, text, uh, this is another group and this is some subtitles and this is a button. So uh, the trick is that whatever your text is, for example headings or any text that is going to grow, you have to set it to fill. So you can see on the right horizontally it is going to fill and top to bottom vertical sizing is going to be hug. So it is going to fill the full width of the card container and it is going to hug the contents when it's going to expand. It is going to hug its contents. So it is going to grow uh, in the vertical direction. So this is a very simple trick. So you can see all my text is uh, set to fill and hug. This one is again fill and hug on the right. You can see uh, then we have this one fill and hug the button is set to hug and hug because uh, if I try to change uh, the button the text it is going to grow so I don't want it to you know uh, take the full width of the um, the whole card so if I try to uh, use fill container so you can see it is going to fill the container so this is not what I want I want to it to be hugging my contents so uh, if you want to create something like this this is very very simple uh, let's um, start with a rectangle over here so first i'm going to use a rectangle for this uh, image because first i'm going to create the contents then the uh, i'm going to uh, arrange those content inside a uh, auto auto layout frame so this is going to be my image let's keep it like this and i am going to have a stroke of let's say purple color around it for like four pixels and let's have a roundness of two this time so this is going to be my image uh, then i'm going to have um, let's say uh, tuesday um, 11 pm PST uh, PDT uh, on uh, let's say 16th June 2022 so this is going to be my date so I'm going to uh, arrange everything uh, with some let's keep it 20 pixels apart from this one let's use 16 okay so then I am going to have another thing which is going to be my heading so this is going to be my heading uh, to uh, podcast with a click. So uh, I'm going to change some of the settings like it is going to be bold. Let's keep 24 over here uh, or maybe 36. So let's try to use a box over here because I don't want it to, you know, so I'm going to using this and it is going to be the same size as this one. Okay, so this is a bit big, so I'm going to use 32. So let's try to space it with like 24 over here. And then we can have, um, let's say, uh, the name of uh, featuring, featuring, um, here we have Essen. Uh, let's use my name M Essen. What Essen? Uh, UX designer. Okay. 
so this is very simple i am going to change the fonts to 16 let's use regular for this one i am going to use medium 18 so this is going to be like this uh, featuring is going to have a little bit of color shift maybe like this okay so here we have and distance between them is 8 okay so I'm going to keep the, these 10 pixels or 12 pixels apart from here so this looks great okay so just make it inside it or maybe at the top maybe in the middle okay so we have three um, let's keep it 24 pixels apart from here and let's use a button rather than um, creating something let's uh, submit button uh, shift a to create auto layout i'm going to add a fill color uh, let's use white uh, no not white but this one mm, let's use yellow this time and i'm going to have a rounded corner of eight and for the padding i'm going to use 16 top and bottom i'm going to use 14. so this is going to be my button let's call this btn so this is another frame let's try to see how much far away this is let's keep it 56 pixels now i'm going to have and select all this and shift a to create an auto layout you can see auto layout has been added and you can see over here that the, the i can adjust the sizes between them the distances between them okay so let's keep it to 16 i'm going to add a padding around it of 16 and the top bottom and also around it and let's use a fill color of white over here and have um, 8 pixel roundness uh, I think at the bottom it should have some more spacing so let's open this up at the bottom I'm going to use 24 uh, at the top I think it's good let's use 20 at the bottom and then we have um, okay so uh, you can see there is a problem I, I want my items to have different spacing rather than you know follow everything like you can see over here it's 16 because everything is inside it so it is going to have 16 applied to it so the trick is that i'm going to group these two into another auto frame so shift a now you can see this is featuring frame and now i can reduce the height between them to 8 similarly if you want to do something else for example uh, now i want this button to be a bit move further away so what i'm going to do is i can add some padding at the bottom so rather than use at the top and bottom let's use just at the bottom 16 at the bottom so you can see now this has been expanded now it has some padding around it so this is a really really nice feature because uh, you can add padding you can add the distancing change the distancing between them so let's uh, use um, blue color over here like this oops okay so here we have it uh, i think blue is a bit too much so i'm going to go with this like that okay so now setting for this so this is fixed and fixed so we are going to have fill container and height is going to be fixed for this one uh, this is not going to be hug this is going to be fill container this is also going to be fill container don't worry about it uh, and this is going to be hug contents and this is going to be uh, fill container and hug contents is good this is going to be hug and hug don't worry it will shrink like this whenever you do something like this responsive card with the new figma layout okay so um, we want the button to be on the left bottom or maybe you can select any of these and now if we try to you can see the magic is happening so if we try to you know uh, move it like this it is going to be like that 
so maybe I'm going to have a bit smaller over here of this I'm going to use 14 something like that so this is a very simple trick to create a responsive car you can see my image is actually filling the whole thing and this is the border the border or the uh, the padding around it is set from this responsive card layout so you can see this is one uh, over here which is surrounding everything then we have featuring frame where I wanted to have my own padding at the bottom and uh, if you want to create something uh, so this is going to be image so let's try to add some image over here so I'm going to search for unsplash so let's use unsplash and I'm going to let's use some colorful thing over here let's use this one this is going to look great okay so here we have our responsive card and if I try to you can see the effect in the image so this is a totally responsive card and if I try to add something over here it is going to expand either ways so this is uh, what we have in Figma 2022 this is June 13 June yes June 13 uh, 13th of June 2022 this is the new update I really love this fixed and hug where we have separate uh, horizontal resizing and vertical resizing also I love this feature of having padding uh, on all sides this is a really really nice feature of Figma I hope you guys are going to love this uh, make sure you like subscribe uh, I, I have uh, heard that a lot of my subscribers 92% viewers are not actually sub subscribers you know I only post important videos I don't I'm not going to bother you like um, 10 videos a week I just post maybe once a week or maybe once a 10 days so uh, I will meet you in another video I hope you, you have enjoyed and learned something new if you have any questions do post in the comments section below till then take care bye bye